Drivers heading north on Morrison Drive will notice a new sign alerting them to how fast they're driving. This new addition comes just a few weeks after a deadly hit and run in that area. News News Jordan Sayopa is near Morrison Drive. And Jordan, you heard from city and state officials on what's being done in that specific area to stop this speeding problem. Yeah, Brendan. Well, the safety of Morrison Drive has certainly come into question after that incident, which took the lives of two 20 year old women. Now, if you walk or bike in this area, you know there aren't many safe places to cross. But based on what officials told me, that could be changing. Morrison Drive is a popular spot for runners, walkers and bicyclists heading to the Ravenel Bridge pedestrian and bike path. But other than the intersection at Cooper and East Bay Streets, there are few safe opportunities to cross the busy four lane road. Obviously, it's nice having the pedestrian stuff on the bridge here, but I don't always feel like cars are paying attention. Drivers heading north on Morrison Drive will notice a newly placed speed limit sign alerting them to how fast they're driving. It's not far from the bike lane where police say two 20 year old women were walking when they were hit and killed in April. I reached out to officials from the South Carolina Department of Transportation who say speed limit signs are a short term safety improvement while they perform a traffic safety audit in that corridor. Safety audits are typically data driven, so um, the data clearly shows that it's needed. James Wallace, a transportation project manager with the city of Charleston, says there are approved plans for a pedestrian cross signal at Johnson Street and Morrison Drive, but he says they're waiting for the traffic volumes to meet federal warrants before it can be installed. It's just good to have um, an option for pedestrians to cross the road where traffic stops um, and is controlled instead of uncontrolled crossings where you're more relying on the pedestrian to look for um, a clear gap in traffic to cross the road. And as the study gets underway, the people who run, walk and bike the road hope their voices are taken into consideration. It definitely they should factor in, I guess, how the local residents feel about it as well, rather than just hard numbers of, you know, how many accidents are there or something like that. Now, Charleston has other bike and pedestrian improvement projects um, underway throughout different parts of the city, including on Meeting Street Road and the West Ashley Greenway. As for DOT, they say they're expecting to have that audit wrapped up at the end of June and we'll have more to report then. Reporting live in Charleston, I'm Jordan Sayopa, Count on Two.